Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Alyssa, and for today's video, we are doing my yearly favorites for 2022. We are gonna go ahead and wrap that year up with a nice little bow, and I'm gonna share with you all the things that I absolutely adored throughout the entire year. These are my must-haves, literally multiple repurchases, like cannot live without them, do not wanna live without them, type of a video. So I am so excited. So without further ado, if you would like to know all of my favorite things from 2022, then let's just go ahead and get started. All right, y'all, we're going to dive on into this because I don't want this video to be too terribly long. I'm not going to lie to you. It is not a lot of beauty. It is going to be primarily lifestyle items. And that is because this year I didn't focus a lot on like beauty products. A lot of you guys know I didn't buy a lot of beauty products. I've really been focusing on like using up everything in my collection. I'm tired of having clutter and just like an overabundance of stuff that I feel like I can't get to to use. And so my beauty products are very minimal. And also I don't wear a lot of makeup to work. So doing makeup is unless I'm going out or filming, that's kind of it for me. So the beauty products are the things that we're gonna start with first because there's so few and then we're gonna kind of move into the lifestyle stuff. And when I pick these items, these are the items that I kid you not, I have used all year long. I didn't really throw anything in here that I like barely got, barely used, barely test out. Now like these are my favorite things. So we're going to go ahead and breeze through it. So starting with like beauty type items, the first thing I'm going to show you is this Tati Beauty Sponge. As of lately, you guys have been seeing me use this a lot on camera. I've had this product obviously since she la launched it and I did a video on it and I did not like it. I do not like this sponge for what she intended it to be used for, like a all-in-one purpose sponge. I did not like using it for cream products and powder products and everything all together. No, no, no. But what I do love this for is for setting my powder. Like literally I can use this big old sponge three different times because it's got three points on it, which I love it. I love being able to use it multiple times before I just have to put it aside to wash it. And I literally just pick a corner and I set underneath my eyes anywhere that I want to set with my translucent setting powders or whatever it may be. So I am obsessed with this for that. Next, another like beauty tool. This Luxie 522 tapered highlighting brush has been literally my most used brush this year. I do not use it for highlighter. I always love when a brush is named something I do not use it for, but I am obsessed for using this for blush, for bronzer and like contouring, for like sweeping powder off of my face. I am a big fan of believing that brushes should be multifunctional. Just because it says it's a highlighter brush, one does not mean that's what you have to use it for. And two, I should be able to use a brush for more than one thing. If a brush really only has one purpose, it's not high on my favorites list because I want to be able to reach in my collection and use it for whatever I feel the need to. Another beauty tool is this little bad boy right here. It's like a a silicone spatula situation. I use this for putting on face masks. I use this for scooping my lotion out of the bottle when my fingers can't get in there when I'm trying to use up every last drop. It is fully silicone. I do have other ones, like other, I don't actually know what it's called. Silicone spatula looking situations, but they have like, they're like plastic handles and then like the silicone goes into the plastic handle so I feel like you get a build up of product. This being 100% silicone is absolutely amazing. It's easy to clean and sanitize because like I just said I use it on face masks and I also use it to dig out body lotion. So it's easy to clean and sanitize. I love this. I'm obsessed. This is literally from Sephora collection um, and I will link everything that is available obviously in the description box so please check there if you are looking for anything. But Love this. This is like the best thing and it was not very expensive at all. I'm obsessed. I do think I'm probably going to need to get another one of these and I feel like the other one that I have, I just need to get rid of it and have two of these bad boys. So I love this. Um, skincare. The only skincare item that I put in here, which is so wild because I have done a lot of skincare, but I really wanted to pull things that I haven't talked to you about before because of course you guys see my empties. You guys know what I like because I talk about it almost every month with you guys, but I wanted to pick things that I really haven't discussed. So that way, you know what I already like, but I'm giving you even more items. So these right here are Hanu On The Go Blemish, Blemish Patches. Oh my God, there are 108 patches in here. I'm obsessed with this. I have not been able to find this again, which upsets me. And here's the thing. 
Pimple patches are great. I have some of my favorites. These, these pimple patches do work. But it's not even the pimple patch that I like so much. It is the container. Because this little bad boy is one of those things where you pull it out. Let me focus on it. Okay. Here we go. So you pull the tab, and I don't want to do it right now because I don't need one, but as you pull it, the pimple patch comes from here. It hits this little thing and it peels it up for you so you can just pull it off. And then literally I just rip the tab. It is so much nicer than having those like packs that you have to like rip open, pull the whole sheet out, pick what you want, put it back, seal it back up. This is so functional. It sits nice because of its shape. So of course it just sits on my little shelf in the bathroom like this. It's excellent for travel. I have got like I could, I have not been able to find them. I've been like hoarding these. I use my other ones because I have a ton of pimple patches, but like I love these for travel, for the display purpose, like it is so nice. I need to buy more of these. These are so good and they work, which is amazing. The only downside is that of course it's one size. So I love other pimple patches that come in multiple sizes because they're a little more multifunctional in my opinion, but like I can overlook it because not only do they work, I just, the packaging is the best in the biz. These little rhinestone gemstones, I'm like, let me make sure all my packs are closed. I got this big pack from Amazon. I have a ton of rhinestones, colored rhinestones, regular ones. The ones that are like the iridescent you know, like multi, like got the multi shimmer on it. These are my favorite. Primarily these tiny, teeny, tiny little ones down here. I cannot tell you how many times I have used these little bad boys to put rhinestones in some sort of formation around my eyes. And I'm obsessed literally obsessed so i will link these i get them on amazon these are amazing um it brings my dancer heart joy because i'm a rhinestone loving girly but i cannot tell you how many looks i've done with rhinestones and specifically these iridescent -y looking ones on my eyes i love them i have a favorite pair of lashes to share with you guys which is hilarious because i haven't done my makeup a lot but these lashes, oh my gosh, are my favorite. These are the House of Lashes Iconic Lights. I even pulled a new pair out the back so you could see them, not all crusty dusty. But these are so flattering, you guys. These are stunning on the eyes. As far as my favorite setting spray goes, it is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. If this is one thing you take about my makeup out of here is that you need this setting spray. To me, it is like a dupe for the Urban Decay All Nighter, and that's a setting spray that I absolutely adored back in the day. It was my favorite, but it is so expensive. This is no more than like 11 or 12 bucks, maybe, and they are so good. It looks like it's a little bottle, but it lasts forever. I literally, I'm so generous when using this stuff, and I feel like I just cannot get through them. They are amazing. The fruit fetish ones are the ones I have now because I did buy those. Um, and these are great, but the original one is just as good. They're amazing, which is one thing I love too, that like they didn't change the formula between them. It's so good. This is the best setting spray that I have. And literally I'm finishing up a couple and I don't need another one. Like that will be the one I continue to repurchase. It is that good. And the last like beauty makeup type part that I have to show with you is the mascara that I just cannot get enough of. Like. I'm not going to be talking about my bad gal bang, but you guys know that is my fave. But this is a drugstore mascara, which is why I really wanted to mention it to you. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic. I've used the one in the gold tube. I have this one here, the carbon black and the black tube. This is an amazing mascara. It's downfall, I'm not going to lie to you, is putting the wand back in the tube because it's so long and flimsy. You do really have to like kind of fuss with it to get it to go back. And I won't lie, it's aggravating as hell. However, this mascara is amazing. I will overlook that tenfold to continue to use this. The wand is so tiny and so thin that you can get every lash without whacking all your hard work all over your face, which I greatly appreciate. It's not very volumizing. This is a lengthening mascara. So if you are looking for length, look no further because this is going to give it to you i'm going to throw in this with like my beauty stuff because this is the only thing that i use it for but it's like a tool i'm going to mention this again i am pretty sure i've mentioned this in a yearly favorites before but this is my little like fan situation you guys see me use this all the time i use this for drying my setting spray i every time i do my makeup without a shadow of a doubt I am using this. It is amazing. It holds a charge for forever because that's all that I use it for. I love it. It charges with a little like um, USB 
port here on the side. It has two speeds. I need to find a way to clean it. I need to like spray this bad boy out. It's a little crusty, I won't lie. But this is amazing. I got it off of Amazon. It was not expensive at all. They come in a couple different colors. So if like blue's not your thing, but literally I'm obsessed. And then like when you travel with it, cause it's so slim, it's easy to travel with, to put in your bag. It's not annoying, it's amazing. And of course you can definitely use it as like a normal fan. So if you're someone like when you're getting ready, you get hot. This is also something that you need to have because this can help obviously just cool you down in general. You can actually play the fan role. But I am obsessed with this. If you're not setting your setting spray with a mini little fan and you're still sitting over here like flapping your arms and flapping whatever you got, you're doing it wrong. Let this do the work for you. Cause it does it so quickly. All right, now we've got some hair stuff. So I'm not gonna say a single word. I'm gonna hold up my product and I'm gonna put it down. That's the only thing here that I think I've talked to you about a million times over, but just trust me, okay? If you don't know, you need to get on it. I'm just saying. Next is my wet brush. You guys, I switched to wet brushes literally, I think Christmas last year, maybe, I think. And so I've been using them consistently for a year. I have one in here and I have one in my room and literally I will not use anything other than a wet brush ever again because these are so good on my hair. They don't make my hair frizzy. I like how that's like, even if I have a knot, it just slides right through it. Um, I have like slightly knockoff version. This is a true actual wet brush. Also, it's got Ariel on it. I love that. Why should I have plain brushes with no princesses on them? You know what I'm saying? And wet brush partners with like Disney all the time. So like, hello, it's a twofer. I'm obsessed. Two different hair scrunchies to talk to you about. First of all, are these like satin scrunchies. I'm pretty sure this is from the brand Kitsch. I think these both things, yes, I'm gonna talk to you about. These little satin hair scrunchies, I sleep in them every night. You guys know I don't wash my hair very often. Um, this is great for many reasons. One, it helps my hair like stay out my face when I got all my skincare on it. Um, it keeps my hair from getting tangled because I've got it situated off my head. You can wear it up, you can wear it low, whatever makes you the happiest. But since it's a satin scrunchie, it doesn't break my hair. Literally, there is not a night in which I don't wear these. I actually need to throw this in the wash because you can see the dry shampoo in it. I'm not putting it closer. You can see it, but trust me, it is there. I love these. It comes in like a pack or three or four. They're not very expensive. I'm obsessed. The other hair scrunchie is from Kitsch as well, and I love these. These come in a pack of two. These are like their microfiber towel scrunchies. I am obsessed with these, you guys. They are huge. They feel really good. They're stretchier than you think they would be, and I love these because when I get out the shower, if I'm going to do like a face mask or maybe I'm going to do a hair mask or whatever, or I just want to let my hair dry for a little bit, but I want it off of my off of my back or whatever because I don't like my clothes to get wet for my hair. It's disgusting. I love these. I will like put my hair up in a bun, pop this bad boy on. Because it's a microfiber, it helps absorb um, the water from my hair. This thing right here, my scalp scrubber. Oh my god. How I was existing before using this, I have no idea. I literally have been using this for a solid year. I love this one. Again, this is from Sephora. But I love this because most of the ones that you see are like the ones with like the handle that you like put your finger on. It has like a little knob on it and it's like a plastic piece. And then obviously, of course, like the silicone bottom. I feel like it has to get crusty around that silicone bottom. Like things, like, you know, it's not all one piece. I love this because it's literally all one piece of silicone. This is just a big fat heavy piece with the bristles on it. This was maybe $10. This was amazing. It came with a little holder, so I hang it up in my shower. I'm obsessed. I use this every time I wash my hair and it makes a huge difference. And of course, because it's all silicone, it's easy for me to clean and sanitize, which again, I feel like is very, very important. Uh, another hair care, I've mentioned this a bunch, so I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but this is the Way Leave-In Conditioner. This is a mini one because I had to have it for travel purposes as well. This is the best leave-in conditioner, you guys. And the last two hair care items are things I use literally. If I'm not washing my hair, which is not often, I use these products every day. The first things first is this particular crusty looking, um, like, towel headband situation, I will put my hair up in like a bun or whatever I'm going to do. And I will wrap this around my head and clip it at the top. And then with that, on top of that, I put my little shower cap. Okay. I love these. This is from Amazon. It come in like a three or four pack. So I do rotate them out. Like actually after I film this, I'll probably like go in there and put some bleach and stuff on this to keep it nice and white and then put this in the wash. 
And then these I use for about a year at a time. I just kind of check them. Like I just, I think I use it for a little less than a year. And this is a newer one that I got. I get this at Walmart. It is maybe $8. And literally it's lined like that. I like that it's all cute. I literally open it up, pop it over my head where it sits over this. So like nothing like soups up into my hair. And this is my shower night dream team. It keeps my hair from getting wet in the shower because when you're trying to wash your hair and then you're getting your hair wet, that's not benefiting you. So this is my dream team each night when I get in the shower. All right, this is a very random thing, but I have to talk about it. It's very niche for me. This is Tenactin, all right? I'm a bad bitch and I'm a bad bitch that can get athlete's foot, okay? I stand outside, it is hot. I am sweaty, my feet sweat, okay? I just, it's part of being me. And so because I'm prone to get athlete's foot with my job, I discovered Tenactin this year and this has been a lifesaver. This makes it so I literally do not get athlete's foot. Like this, I use it if I, ha I had to start using it when I got it because I was using other products like creams and blah, blah, blah. And a sweet, sweet lady at my work was like, girl, that's not how you need to do that. This is what you need to get. And I was like, what you mean? And literally, this cleared up my little mild case of athlete's foot in like two days. And then I would use this for preventative measures to keep it going. So much so that I actually don't have to use it very often because my feet are kind of accustomed to it. I love this stuff. If you suffer with any sort of athlete's foot, anyone in your life suffer with it, that's what they need. You can use the Equate version as well. I use the Equate version to spray into my shoes to keep them all nice and good. But I use the good stuff on my physical feet and you just spray it directly on your feet and then put your socks on. It is amazing. This next product right here, I have, I have talked about this quite a few times. It is niche to women and women only, uh, but that is the Diva Cup. This is a brand new one because I'm getting ready to change out the one that I have because yes, you do need to replace them. You don't have to replace them like, you know, crazy frequently, but you do need to replace them. Um, but I want to show you this one because I did show you guys the, Honey Pop brand one that I got and I still have it. It's not very good. The Diva Cup is the best in my personal opinion, but I'm not gonna lie to you. Switching to a menstrual cup has changed the game. I have been using this for years at this point, like literally years. I cannot, I can maybe count on two hands the amount of tampons I've used in the past little bit. And that's only when I've been in a pinch. Like this has changed the game for me. I feel cleaner more sanitary um obviously you do need to be comfortable with yourself um because you do have to do a little bit more work than with like a tampon but if you can handle it if you are comfortable with that if you're squeamish about it then it's not for you um, but this has changed the game for me um, because i put it in in the morning i go all day and i change it at night and i do that cycle while i'm on my cycle it is amazing this is the one that i use again this is the diva cup uh brand i use size i think it's a size one on there yeah size one i love it it has size zero one and two it claims that zero it says if you're new to the world of periods and 18 years of age or younger size one if you're between the ages of 19 and 30 and have a medium menstrual flow and model two it says if you're over the age of 30 and or have a heavier menstrual flow i have a feeling for pretty much all my life i don't really think the age thing is what matters as much um, but i will probably always be like a model one. Um, so it's kind of up to you. But if you're looking for one that's slightly smaller to start, a model zero might be your good thing. But make sure if you get one of these and you use them, first time follow directions, you want to sanitize it in some boiling water, all that good stuff. But I love this. I think this is, this has been the biggest game changer to me. And I turn everyone that I know that I can onto that bad boy because once you get used to it, it is a game changer. Switching from talking about my period to something that has absolutely nothing to do with that at all. These are my swig cups, okay? I'm obsessed with these. Oh, my Lanta. I got these for me, my best friend, and her husband all earlier this year. And it has been literally the best purchase that I ever made. Um, I got us each one in each size. I brought both in here because I feel both are vital to the cause, okay? So... This big fat one right here is going to be good for like regular beer cans, soda cans. This doesn't have to be about alcohol. Soda cans, things like that. This keeps your drink so cold. The top here, if you don't know, comes off and then you put the item, the drink or whatever in here and then put this back on and twist it on. This keeps it so cold for so long. If you're someone that like 
we'll even just talk about sodas. Like if you're someone that likes a soda, but you don't like to chug it and you want it to last a longer and you don't want it to get hot sitting outside or riding in the car, this keeps it so stinking cold. And then of course this tall boy right here is for obviously, you can use them for energy drinks. You can use them for like things like hard seltzers, whatever you want. But these, these are just amazing. Literally every time we hang out, it doesn't matter where we're at. Her house, her mom's house, if we're going to the beach, the pool, we're bringing these. It doesn't matter. They are so good. They are a little bit pricey, I won't lie. I bought mine directly from the Swig website because they did kind of have like a small sale situation going on. Um, they're not cheap, but they last a long time and you can register them uh, if you want to. So highly, highly, highly recommend. Tons of cute colors and designs. Obviously you can have solids, you can have patterns. And I kind of got us each ones in different colors that kind of went with each person. So it's super fun. And plus, if you do different colors and stuff, then you'll always know what drink is yours. So I love that. Next, I have one piece of jewelry that I'm gonna show you, um, and it is my little necklace with my dog Axel on it. Um, I showed you guys this when I got it, but there's his sweet little face, and it has his name. <laughs> oh, there it went, that flipped relatively easy for me. It has his name on the back there. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's just this gold little chain necklace. I got this from Wolf Palace. I believe is the name of it. Uh, yeah, because I wanted to call it Wolf Place and I'm pretty sure it's Wolf Palace. Um, and I love this. This is the necklace that I wear the most frequently. I am not a very big jewelry girl. It doesn't really interest me that much. Um, but this is literally my favorite piece of jewelry. It is actually funny because I got my cousin one for her, for her dog that had passed last year for Christmas. And this year at Christmas, she mentioned, because I was wearing mine again, and she mentioned how literally she wears hers every day. She literally never takes it off. These are so great. Again, I will link it down below, but you send them a picture of your pet. It can be any pet. They, it's not just dogs, cats, whatever else you may have. And they draw your pet from the picture and then they etch it into the um, pendant. So it's amazing. They do keychains. They do all sorts of stuff. It doesn't just have to be a necklace. I think they have bracelets and things like that as well. I won't lie. It's not super cheap. I will say this necklace is probably about a hundred or so bucks, which is not bad. It is jewelry and it is held up very well. And it's just, it's special. It's a special piece. So I highly recommend this brand. I felt the customer service was exceptional. The work has been great both times that I have ordered and it's, it's amazing. I had given my cousin a silver one because she's a more silver girly and it looked just as amazing, just as high quality. And so highly, highly, highly recommend them um, if you're interested in something along these lines. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna talk to you guys about are my Scentsy wax bars. So I have mentioned Scentsy quite a few times on my channel this year because I have officially been converted to a Scentsy girly. I am obsessed with them. The thing that I love the most about the Scentsy warmers and wax bars is just how much like safer and less like chemically they are because you're not burning anything. There's no like soot and smoke going up everywhere. Um, and I like that I can leave them on. Like I'm not worried about it. I get up, I turn them on, they can be on all day. Not like you can leave a candle going all day. It's You're not supposed to. So that's what I really like about Scentsy. It's kind of like you can turn it on and like leave it and forget it and it's not gonna burn your house down, which I really appreciate. Also, if you have children, um, the wax, like while of course it does get hot, it is not going to burn you. I have accidentally like put my fingers in it and like, yes, it is warm, but like the minute you pull your hand out, it is literally like rock solid. It dries so quickly. I have spilled wax um, on my wall and my carpet and because it dries instantly, you can clean it right up. So it's pretty much mess free. I know I sound like a walking talking ad, but no, I'm not selling Scentsy or doing anything like that. Of course, the link that I'm gonna have as I'm talking about these Scentsy products in my description bar is for my friend Kimberly. She is a Scentsy consultant. So know that if you shop that link, you are directly shopping through her and supporting her um, Scentsy business. If you do not feel comfortable doing that, you do not have to. Please go to the Scentsy website on your own. But if you do it, uh, if you do shop through her, it is a huge thank you from me and a huge thank you from her because of course you are supporting my friend. Um, but anyways, what I'm here to talk to you about today are wax bars. I picked a few summer, spring, and like fall and winter scents that I wanted to talk to you about that are my absolute favorites that if you were like, hey, I really want to try it out, what would you recommend? These are going to be the ones that I warm 
the most. So because we are currently in like fall winter, we'll start there. Um, the first one I have right here, since we're coming off of Christmas time, is Very Snowy Spruce. As always, I will write the descriptions on the screen because they're not here, but this smells so good. I love the smell of a Christmas tree. And so this really hits the spot for me. I don't care that it's like technically after Christmas, I'm still gonna warm this in this winter time because I just think it smells so stinking good. It literally smells like a fresh Christmas tree. It's absolutely amazing. If you are someone that cannot have a real tree but you love the smell of a real tree, this is a good one for you. Another one of my winter faves is Polar Bear Hug. I love this also to put in my car, whether it's in like the car bar or a scent circle, but I do like it in the wax as well. It has wintry undertone to it, like something sweet, kind of like berry-ish. Does that make sense? But it also has a very clean smell to it, which I really like. Like I feel like it's gonna be a good one to also put in my bathroom. I enjoy this one a lot. If you're someone who likes to have more of a clean smell, I think you would like that one. And then my favorite true fall scent is Cider Mill. You guys, I cannot tell you how many of these I have warmed. If you think of a fall scent in your mind, if you start describing that, I'm telling you, you're describing this scent right here. It smells cinnamony. I'm pretty sure there's got to be a hint of like apple or something in there. Cloves, spices, like it is a true fall scent. It does not smell too Christmassy or anything like that. It is true fall in my personal opinion and it is my favorite. When it comes to spring and summer, I have four that I am absolutely obsessed with. Like literally, I, I know I have gone through a couple of these each, easy. Uh, first one right here is Pomegranate Prosecco. Oh my gosh. This is one of the first ones that I got. It has a fruity smell to it, very sweet, but also like a clean undertone. And I absolutely love this. I love warming this in any room, whether it's the bathroom or my bedroom. It smells good both places. It's absolutely delicious. I'm obsessed. My next favorite one, I was so glad they brought this back because I loved it. I had one bar of this and I made this bar last. Like Kimberly, when I first started Sensi, she just gave it to me to try because they weren't selling it when I decided to purchase for the first time. And this is the Moana Spirit of Montanui. Oh my God, you guys, I'm not joking. When this came back, I bought like six bars. I'm an addict. It smells. So good. I'm not gonna lie to you, the Disney smells can be hit or miss, so you wanna make sure you really read the notes on them. Um, and if you have a consultant or someone nearby that can send you samples or whatever so you can smell them, I encourage that. But this one right here, it smells so good. It smells a little like candy. It does have that more like fun, kind of playful smell to it, but of course it is Disney, so that doesn't surprise me at all. But it smells so stinking good. I can't remember the notes to save my life, but I cannot wait to warm this again. This may be my favorite Disney scent that I have had thus far. And I have quite a few, like the ones in the Little Mermaid collection are also fantastic. But this, 10 out of 10, it's so good. Another one of my favorites, which was a surprise favorite for me, was Prickly Pear and Agave. I bought this without smelling it. I just kind of looked at the notes and was like, huh, that seems like something I would like. And I love it. It's so good. This smells clean. It smells a little earthy, which I really like. It kind of has like a, like a planty, woodsy type smell to it, if that makes any sense but also very clean and a little, a little bit fruity, okay? It smells so good. My favorite place to warm this is in the bathroom. It makes the bathroom smell so fresh and doesn't mix with any like things that go on in there, you know what I'm saying? So like, I love it. And then my other favorite one, this has been a favorite of mine from the get-go. This is Kimberly's, I think one of her favorite scents as well, cause she's the one that turned me on. It is Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. And oh my God, <laughs> it smells so good. Again, undertone is very much clean, which is funny cause I'm not really like a clean type of a, a person. Like that's not my favorite type of a fragrance. You wouldn't know that based on everything I've literally told you in these last few scents, but that's not like I'm like, I'm someone that loves clean scents, but apparently I am. 
but I like it for it to smell like it's freshening a room. That's what it smells like. And then it has like a really lovely beachy undertone to it as well. And I know that you're like, well, Alyssa, what does that even mean? But it smells, it smells like a little like sunscreen, a little like salt air and sunshine and just straight up like you're outside at the beach. It is so nice. And my friend Kimberly uses this a lot in some of their laundry products, like the whiffs or things that you do. I don't use any laundry products, so I cannot speak on them. But if you're someone that likes to have scents added into your laundry, she loves the smell within her laundry, which I could see why. It does smell very, very good. It's literally, it's been one of my top faves since the beginning. That was literally one of the first bars that I purchased just because she said it was so good and I do not disagree. Moving along, I have two bags to show you and not bags as in like, purse, like purses or anything. This is gonna be most random, but this first one right here is a dirty laundry bag. I got this off of Amazon. I have been using this literal same bag for I think three years at this point. I'm obsessed. You guys know I do a little bit of traveling. I do house sitting. I do things where I stay away. I feel like a dirty laundry bag is such a random thing that people don't think about, but it is something that you need when you travel. Cause if not, you are either taking like a trash bag or you're using some sort of bag provided by wherever you're staying or most of the time laundry bags and things like that are huge. I love this one because it is compact. I zip it up every time. And when you unzip it, it folds out into like a really decent sized laundry bag. It has a drawstring closure. I took this on my week long cruise. All my, everything that I need to put in there, fit in there. And then when I travel back, I just leave everything in the laundry bag and strap it into the suitcase. And then I just empty this when I get home and then I fold it back and zip it up. So it's easy to take with you because it doesn't take up a lot of space. The next thing I have to share with you about, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think this is the only product that I have not used a full year, but you all need to know about it. Y'all know the fanny packs are in, right? I know, I was surprised about it too. And, but I was like, you know what? I like the idea of wearing it around my body and being close to me without having to be like my long purse and holding all my stuff. Another Amazon purchase is this fanny pack bag. Now the brand I think is called Max Top. Again, I will link it, but I love it. This bad boy has an amazing adjustable strap. It has a pocket on the back closest to you. So that's where I typically put like money or something like that, like things I don't want be people to be able to get near me because you can either wear it on your front. I sometimes push it around to my back. So of course you gotta be careful because I don't be trusting nobody. It has this little headphone port. I have no idea how you use that or what you use that for. I have not used it, so I cannot tell you about it. It has a smaller zipper pocket down here, which is quite spacious. And then a bigger zip zipper pocket there. Inside, it is more roomy than you can imagine. It has another zipper pocket on the inside, as well as one of those little like clip hooking situations. Let me find it. Oh, he shoved up in it. He shoved in the zipper, as well as one of these little clip hook things. So like if I've got keys or if I need like a spare hair tie that I don't want floating around, I'll hook that on there. Um, also, if I need to like put money, if I'm wearing it on the front or like medications or small things, I'll put them in this inner zipper pocket. When I tell you that this holds so much, I take this when I'm like going out of town, be bopping around um, because this is more of like a sporty looking one. I took this on my cruise and joking you not, you guys, I was able to, this is what I use like my personal item to carry all my money, my wallet, everything. And then even when I was on the cruise, I would take my literal camera that I'm filming with now along with my camera handle. And I could put the whole thing in here with our cruise cards, my phone, everything. I was carrying all sorts of stuff around here and you would never know it. I literally, I'm obsessed with that thing. And I never thought I'd be out here telling you I'm obsessed with the fanny pack. But here we are, we're all surprised today. I have one food type item that I wanna share with you about. There's a ton of food things that I could sit here and ramble on about because I love to eat. Eating is my favorite activity, I'm not gonna lie to you. But my favorite thing that I'm obsessed with are these Fairlife protein drinks, okay? This one is the chocolate one. It has 30 grams of protein, it's 150 calories, two grams of sugar. Now the sodium, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's 230, but protein drinks are always high in sodium, so I have found. Um, but this is amazing. This tastes like chocolate milk. It is so good. I have been working on trying to better my health because ever since coming off birth control last year at this point, because now we're, I'm talking to you in 2023, 
but ever since coming off of birth control last year, I gained like 40 pounds simply from coming off of birth control alone. And I've had a very hard time adjusting to that, trying to find a way to lose weight, to get myself to a better um, thing. And it's not always about losing weight, but for me, I have to get some of this weight off me because it was a lot in a little bit of time. It's just, I don't feel good. And so I was looking for ways to add more protein into my diet, especially because when I'm at work, you know, I, I don't have like, a crazy long lunch break. I'm not bringing gourmet meals and I just needed something. I have tried a ton of protein drinks. This is the best one. It is so good. I can throw this back in like literally two seconds flat. Um, it's amazing. I love this stuff. I know you can get it on Amazon. I get mine at Sam's. I literally buy them by the caseload because I just, they'll come and they'll go from Sam's, but I love them. I am so glad that um, a kid from my work turned me on to these because these have saved my life and have really helped me get protein into my diet to keep me from being so snacky because I am a snack queen, I swear. So now we're gonna move into the very last category, it's clothing items, and we're gonna kinda jump into this. The first thing I'm gonna show you, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of ashamed to show you, but these are my Crocs. <laughs> these are my Croc slides, okay? I hate Crocs. I detest them. I've probably mentioned this here before. I think they're the ugliest daggone thing to ever be made. And I didn't want to buy them, you guys. But I needed like a beach shoe, a pool shoe, a, like a throw on and go shoe. And dang it if these aren't doing exactly what I need them. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not wearing any other type of Croc. I'm not wearing the ones that have the closed toe I'm with, with the strappy on the back. Those are still the ugliest thing to ever walk the earth. These, still ugly just less ugly, okay? But I love them. They're perfect for exactly what I needed them. I think these are no more than 30 bucks and I got them on sale for like 15, so it's a win-win-win for me. But literally, I travel with these. These are great for walking around the hotel, taking to the beach, taking to the pool, doing whatever it is. I'm obsessed. Um, I hate to say this to myself, but I'll probably buy another one when I need to. I like these in the white because they look a little bit nicer. Of course, they're dirty as hell, but that's my business, not yours. Um, but yeah. I have been slightly converted because again, I'm not wearing any other type of Crocs. I'm not buying the gibbets. I'm not doing any of that, okay? But those things, I love them. I'm a sucker. The next thing, clothing item. I have mentioned these about a million times, but it is these bike shorts right here. These are from Aerie. These are the best bike shorts, point blank period. I am a big girl, okay? You know it, I know it, we all know it. I have huge legs, all right? I got big, big meaty thighs. My thighs have never been apart a day in their life. They're always touching. So I cannot wear the tiny little bike shorts, the little ones, no. These are like, I think there's, I think these are nine inches long. They have ones that are seven that I also like, but not nearly as much. These are seamless, so they have no seams, no ribs. The bottom is also seamless, which I love. They do not roll down at the waist because they are high-waisted. They do not roll up at the leg. It keeps my thighs from touching. Look, I got so worked up, my camera has like done this whole situation with the, the color. Either way, they keep my thighs from rubbing together. They are squat-proof. They are so stretchy, but also very structured to keep you kind of held in how you want it. Like I said, they don't roll down and they don't roll up. These are amazing. I don't know how many pairs of these that I have. I have way too many. They're all primarily black because I don't think these come in a ton of colors. I do have this one navy blue pair, um, but these are called, and I'll link them, but on this thing it says, the goals of bike short um, high rise. They're offline by Airy. I wear a large, um, and like I said, I will link them, but these are the best thing. I wear them literally every day because I work out in them. I wear them to Disney. They are amazing. Next, we're gonna talk about my favorite bra. My favorite bra. It is this one right here. You're like, Alyssa, what even is that? This is the Hanes. I have hauled these when I physically purchased the new ones. I don't, think, I don't even think it says it on this booby holder. Oh, in a font that I can't read. This is some Hanes no wire strappy bra thing you guys this is the best thing ever now of course like if you're looking to actually have your boobies look boobily structured this isn't going to do it for you but if you're talking about comfort want to roll around but still have it look like you have some boobs and not like they're pushed flat 
in like a sports bra, this is the best thing. It does have the normal like bra clasp enclosure, which I like because I don't always want to be like trying to squeeze into like a sports bra or something that doesn't have a clasp on it. But these are so comfy. They're so stretchy. Um, they wash nice. They like, they have like a little booby cup. So the band is a little bit thicker. It's nice. Okay. No wires. It's so comfortable. I travel in these. Okay. I wear these again around theme parks. I wear them just lounging around. They are so good. I literally, I've repurchased them because as they get like worn and funky, I just go get another one. Another thing, another intimate, this is my favorite pair of underwear. Okay. And I'm not talking thongs. I'm talking about like cozy sleep underwears. These are from Victoria's Secret. These are in the pink section. These are the, huh, I cut the tags out. I don't know exactly what they're called. I think they're called like the high, high leg bikini cut, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I get mine in a large, okay? But I love these. I love that they are the string bikini on the side because I don't like feeling very restricted. Again, I'm a big girl. I've got a big booty, I've got big legs. I don't like feeling like I'm restricted, especially when I'm supposed to be comfortable sleeping. And so these are the most amazing pair. I have them in a thousand colors. I just ordered more from the Victoria's Secret sale. I love them. They beat out every other pair of underwear I got. As far as my favorite sets of pajamas, these are the, everyone calls them moo's from Walmart. I don't think that's what they're called. They're like nightgowns or sleep shirts or whatever. This just happens to be my newest one. It says Cozy Vibes. I got this for me and my friend Alex for Christmas to wear on our cruise. I love these. These are literally $8. They're so comfortable. They're so stretchy. I get mine in the large, extra large. They're roomy. They're long. They don't expose nothing. Um, the best things. I literally have the majority, like literally 75% of my pajamas are these. I have some that are like tops and bottoms for travel, but those are my favorite. These right here, the best bikini bottoms I'm ever going to put you on. These are from Aerie. These are the... High cut cheeky bathing suit bottoms. Again, I wear mine in a large. These are the only bathing suit bottoms I wear. I have these in, I don't even know how many colors. They have ones, I have ones that are patterned. I have ones that are plain. They're the most flattering bathing suit bottom. If you like a high waisted bottom, this is gonna be it for you. Because they are high cut on the leg here, they make me look a little bit taller. They also make me look a little bit slimmer because again, thick in the hips, thick in the waist, like, Girl, I got stuff going on here. And so they really flatter my body shape by extending my leg and not cutting me off at my widest part of the sides of my hips and my upper thighs. These are so flattering. They constantly have sales. I highly recommend it. They are a little cheeky. I have some that are a little more cheeky than others. So if you don't love that, then maybe don't get it. But I feel like they're flattering. I don't mind my butt cheeks being out. Again, my cheeks are big. So they're gonna do what they wanna do anyways. Um, it does have good coverage in the front here, which we love. We don't want none of this coming out. All right, my butt cheek can be out. My front cheeks need to be away, you know what I'm saying? So they, they work wonders. And the last set of clothing items I'm gonna talk to you about are my Bourbon and Bells t-shirts, okay? This brand, I've mentioned it multiple times now, has a choke hold on me, okay? I have not been wearing them all year. I've probably been wearing them a little over, a little under half of the year. But ever since I found them, I have, I don't even know how many shirts that I've purchased. I don't know how many items I have, how much money I've spent, but it's absurd. But these are the best and cutest, funniest t-shirts that I have literally ever come across. Let me back it up here so I can show you. First of all, I will tell you that this right here, this sweatshirt is my newest item from them. I, first of all, you guys know I love the green, so I had to have it. Um, and I got this for 30% off, so it was a deal. It says, leave me alone period and has their logo running down the sleeve here so i love that i got this one in a large extra large because it's slightly more fitted than some of their oversized stuff but i still want it a little baggy but the big thing i'm here to talk to you about are their t-shirts and i'm 99.9 percent .9 sure all these are turned inside out because I'm a lazy son of a gun, but they do these graphic tees, okay? And the big thing about them is most of them have cuss words on them. I've told you guys about this before. They do have some without cuss words, so if you don't like to wear cuss words on your clothes, like again, this says no cuss words. If you don't like to wear cuss words on your clothes, then they do have some for you, but most of them are cuss wordy. Um, they do market these as oversized tees, um, so they'll tell you to size up two sizes. Uh, I do have some that are two sizes bigger. I'm standard a large. I do have some two X's, 
They are very oversized, but I won't lie to you, my favorite oversized fit from them is just the extra large. So I only size up one size in most of the t-shirts. I also have some in just a standard large that fit me like a normal t-shirt. So it's kind of up to you. They're always having sales. I know code TikTok saves you 10% literally every time. Pay attention because I do know around New Year's they were doing 40% off, which is really nice because these are not cheap. These are comfort color t-shirts, so they are expensive. They're like $42 a piece. I know that's a lot of money and it's not everyone's cup of tea and that's totally okay if it's not yours. It is mine, okay? Um, but like literally, for example, this first one, most of the t-shirts look like this. We're on the front, it's gonna have their smiley face logo and it says bourbon and bells. And then the back is gonna say something. This one says, somebody's fine, you know who's what, bestie. I'm not gonna cuss too much on here because I don't wanna get super really demonetized. But this one I got for me and my friend Alex. Um, we wore those on our cruise. Everybody kept laughing because they were looking around there like, hey, where are the besties, where are the besties? Because we wore them. This one right here is one that I got for me and my friend Cassandra. This is a 2X, so this is like super, super big on me, like super baggy, but it is super comfortable. The comfort colors are really good comfortable tees. So it's this color right here. Again, the logo on the back, and this one says best effing friends, okay? Living and loving that. Um, this one right here, again, this was a 2X one. I bought this one. This was like the very first one that I ever purchased, and I was like, oh girl, you done found me. Um, and this one is in this like fun, like green color. Again, it's got like the brown smiley and it says back on my bullshite right there. Living and loving it. And then this one right here, just to give you like, you know, a taste of what I got. Cause I did show you the couple I got for Christmas as well. And I did not bring those in here. Um, and, but this one is a pink one with white writing on the front there. And it says thick and tired of these bees. So those are like just a small handful. I literally have probably three or four or five maybe other shirts and I have another sweatshirt. Like I love it. They have literally got a chokehold on me. They are so cute, so fun. A good conversation piece because everybody always thinks they're funny when I wear them out. Yes, I do wear them out in public. It's not for everybody, <laughs> but I also don't care what people think. But yeah, you guys, uh, I will have that link down below as well because I think they are so freaking funny. It's uh, definitely for me and my sense of humor. But anyways, you guys, that is it. That wraps up my 2022 year of favorites. Wow. I told you guys a lot of lifestyles. Weird to have hardly any beauty products. So it'll be interesting to see what 2023 brings me as far as favorite comes. So yeah, you guys, let me know what some of your favorites were for 2022, the things that you literally could not stop using, something that I need to check out because you guys know I love peeping and creeping on stuff, especially if it's lifestyle stuff, you guys. I'm really getting into home stuff because you know I'm kind of setting that aside for me. Hopefully this will be my year. Um, you know, lifestyle things like that, good clothing pieces. Let me know. Of course, uh, always let me know beauty stuff as well that I may need to look into. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for being here with me. I am so excited that we're rolling into 2023 now. Holy smack. Can't believe it's officially and finally here. I did make it till midnight last night. I'm just as shocked as you are. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for being here with me. I really do love you, appreciate you. If you enjoyed the video, you know the deal. A thumbs up hooks your girl up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.